Hey guys, how about a hand for Ben Miner for doing a great job hosting, guys? Uh, Ottawa, I like coming up here, man. It's a break from Toronto, which is where I live, which is a horrible place filled with horrible people. It's just, oh, it's the worst living in Toronto, man. It's the worst. They think they can drink in Toronto. You know what I mean? You, you go to a bar downtown Toronto, you know, you over here like a preppy bragging to another preppy. They're, they're like, hey, Nigel, I've got an equation for you. <laughs> <laughs> Four Crantinis plus this guy equals I am hammered. <laughs> Shit, man, I grew up in the country, man. You don't hear that out in the country, you know? You go to a country party over here, shit like, Doug, if you don't finish your 2 4, you're not getting your keys back. <laughs> You guys have been nice. Thank you for being nice, because that's why we do this. We do this because we love performing for you guys. Like, you, you don't get into Canadian stand-up comedy for the fame and fortune. <laughs> you don't take me, for instance. I, I started doing this when I was a 19-year-old kid. I lived in a basement apartment. I'm now a 30-year-old man and a headliner for Yuck Yucks who lives in a slightly bigger basement apartment. <laughs> Thank you. Where, where, where does 11 years in Canadian stand-up comedy get you? Five feet below a Portuguese family. That's right. <laughs> it's my white-hot career right there. <laughs> single guy, ups and downs of being a single guy. Worst part about being a single guy has to be your diet. We eat horrible as single men, we really do. Yeah. This is how bad I eat. I buy Kraft Dinner and microwavable Kraft Dinner. <laughs> Craft dinner and microwavable craft dinner. Yeah, you know, for those nights for when cooking craft dinner just seems too arduous a task, you know? You know, I boil for seven to ten minutes, stir occasionally. Who am I, Wolfgang Puck? <laughs> Let's nuke this poison, right? Eat horror when you're single guys. Single guys in here, how about this one? Single guys in here, you ever pooed green? <laughs> you ever pooed green? And then we're terrified because you could immediately rule out vegetables as the culprit? <laughs> I'm a 30 year old man Googling green poo at 1 a.m. Well, it's either Lucky Charms or cancer, that's it. <laughs> So I ask those serious questions now. <laughs> ask those serious questions like I think about having a kid. And on one hand, I think I'd like to have a kid. Then on the other hand, I'm like, I couldn't do that to some poor innocent child. <laughs> I, couldn't. I couldn't. How screwed up would that kid be, man? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. They'd inherit all of my complexes and issues, which would surely pale in comparison to the number of complexes and issues they'd inherit from the woman who agreed to have a child with me. <laughs> How horrified would that school teacher be, huh? <laughs> and, and what do your parents do for a living, Jeff Jr.? <laughs> well, Daddy travels from town to town describing his poo to strangers. <laughs> and Mummy, <laughs> Mummy says that she's a stay-at-home volunteer wine taster. <laughs> I think the reason I'm not good with like, 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 like getting women is I, I'm shy, man. I really am. I'm shy. And that's such a weird complex for me to have because doing this, talking to a room full of people, this is easy for me. But I get so shy and nervous around girls, I screw up my pickup lines. Like every girl I gone out with had to come up to me. Like, and then that's what happened the last one. She's like, you want to go out? I said, sure, let's go out. So we went out, but then we broke up a couple of months later because we realized we we're from two different worlds. <laughs> we realized we we're from two different worlds. And the day I realized that was the day we met each other there's families, right? Because you got to know this about this girl and her family, right? Her, her mom, politician, her dad, university professor. She had traveled all over the world on her parents' dime. They invite me over to their house. They have their own private library in their house, have their own private library. One of the books inside their private library, how to take photographs of exotic fish. <laughs> That's one of the books they're rocking, okay? 
Let's keep that in mind and cut to two hours later, shall we? Let's just skip ahead two hours. Two hours later, she's over at my nanny and poppy's meeting my grandparents for the first time. That's when my Uncle Scott shows up unannounced. And at one point, my Uncle Scott literally says this. He goes, he goes I don't care what them goddamn pigs say. I know the law. They can't step foot in my trailer without a fucking warrant. <laughs> This ain't gonna work out, my love. <laughs> Imagine if we'd gotten married, though. Imagine how entertaining would that wedding have been, huh? Oh my God, not, not one usher would ever have to ask the question, are you with the bride or the groom? <laughs> oh, they would just say, okay, sports jackets to the left, jean jackets to the right. Double-breasted suit, you're on the left. Double-breast tattoo, you're on the right. Women wearing pearls left, women named Pearl right. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me, guys. Have a great night.